Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Jamie. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you what I purchased at the local um, thrift store. So I have, uh, I'm gonna just try to do the video as quick as possible. But if you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested. So this is the first piece I picked up. It's made in Italy. I have not Googled the price or anything like that. Maybe if I can and will, I will um, do that for you. Okay, so it says right here, I'm made in Italy, if you can look right here. So it's handmade and painted, and I believe this is probably worth some money. And it's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And it doesn't seem like there's any chips or anything like that. I, I felt it when I was at the store, it's just so pretty. So I'm excited about this dish here, and I paid $5 for it, okay? Uh, the next couple things, I picked up some um, brooches here. Here's two brooches. I picked up the silver one right here. And then this one, this beautiful bow with these crystals. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I also picked up this glass piece. I didn't know what it was. It's actually a pendant. Not sure if uh, who makes it or anything like that. Like I said, I'm getting, I'm just new doing this stuff. So I'm just picking up small little things that I'm attracted to. I also picked up this two piece. Um, I didn't know it was $8, I think. Oh, these were a dollar each, the brooches, a dollar each there. I didn't know this was actually um, $8. The sticker says $8 on it. I didn't know that. But um, it's made in Japan and it's absolutely gorgeous to me. It seems really pretty. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any chips or anything on there. And uh, this one here is the plate. Also made in Japan. Um, I did try Googling some of the stuff on about it. Uh, actually, it says two pieces. It says it $2? Oh, never mind. It says $2. Oh, that's even better. Never mind. So $2 for that. And then I also picked up this pottery here. I don't know who made it or who's... I would have to Google all of this stuff anyways. But this pottery, I paid $2 for it too. And I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. If anybody knows anything about these um, names or anything like that, I'm in Canada. So if you know anything... But I will be doing my Googling anyway, so got that i also picked up these um little plates here serving plates i've never they're like dessert serving plates i've never seen anything like this because they actually have like the little bevel marks on the bottom where you can just sit it and then have your little desserts placed on it i've never seen anything like this before but i'm sure they're around everywhere so i paid 25 cents for this because it was only um it was on sale and then I picked up this one too. This thing is, is I, I'm assuming it's from the same lady because she had put an H underneath her um, platters. I'm assuming that they're probably a big family and then she wanted to make sure she got her plates back. So that's the reason why I think that it has the H on there. That'll be easy to come off. It's just nail polish. But I also paid 25 cents for this. And also, and it's indented. 25 cents, guys. Love that. I love that place. Then I also got a bunch of books. Books, books, books. I don't know what they're worth or if they're worth anything. I will be Googling them and everything. If not, I'm going to just use their book um, covers anyways for junk journals or I'll just keep it in my library. So it's this one here and then this one here. Um, it's been fixed, this one. I don't know. I just, they're only a dollar each. So I figured, hey, whatever. I will, you know, I just didn't have enough time. I also got this one here. Sorry. I only had a little bit of certain time to grab this stuff, so that's why um, I just grabbed all, almost all the vintage books because um, I didn't want them to sell out. This one is a discard, but I love the color or cover. It's so hard and heavy duty. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I need to go into too much detail when it comes to the books yet because um, I haven't even looked at it. I also picked up two of these. Actually, I got the volume one and volume two. Of this here and I tried googling it and that I'm not too sure I can't remember what they were saying but I will look into everything anyways and then I also got this one here Shakespeare for young player um, I'm not sure I should have probably the date or the year here somewhere so they're all reprinted it maybe but that's okay copy 1942 and then all of this other stuff so yeah I thought that was cool Whoops, and I also picked up this one here. And this one. 
and I love the little books this one here I don't know the name like I said I just grab pretty much all of the hard copies and they're all each a dollar so I don't know the only one that um, I didn't have the lady she didn't look through all my books but the only one that she did look a scene is this one here she said this one she read herself so um, she said it was a good read and then so I love the little the little books There's this one and then this one I have Google books that I have purchased and they are they are worth money I, I have um, noticed they are worth this is a 1913 book um, so I'm just you know I do have a eBay account I've had it for a while I also picked up this one this is someone's Bible I'm just gonna leave it shut but um, I just love it. look at that is not gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then I just picked up some of these and then that's it for this haul I believe I don't even know what's in here because I never um, opened them up, but I'm assuming they're just like handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs or something, maybe, in that lines. Handkerchiefs. This one has like an embedded flower and it says Manitoba. And I think it was only 25 cents or a dollar, but they're all handkerchiefs, it looks like. And this one here. Oh, this one has a stain. And this one here, it's the same as that one there. It's pretty. Oh, look at this. This is really vintage, definitely. Wow, this would have been really nice on one of my journals for sure. Oh, wow, it's pretty. Look at the pretty. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Ooh. Yeah. And this one here. This one stains in the middle, but look at the, the, you could just, yeah, you can do so much with this stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then there's this one here. Oh, so delicate, pretty. <coughs> And what is this? It's just a plain. So I can still use that for the background of the book. Oh, here's another vintage one. Wow, pretty. Love it. So I got all of these for what is this one here? I don't know what it says, but it's embroidered. And this one is embroidered with flowers. What is this one? It's like a big boat or something. Ooh, this is going to be cool. This could be for one of my Asian journals. Ooh, I like that. That is cool. Yes, that will go definitely with one of my Asian. Oh, another one. Oh, nice, I love that. Look, see, another one. Um, don't know if anything is worth anything. I'm not sure, but um, that's fine haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. If you guys do, please let me know. Because, um, yeah, I'm just curious, like I knew at this, but I'm just been hauling some vintage stuff and I don't want to overhaul it unless, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to try everything out anyways. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Oh, yes. And I just want to let you know, I did forget this one. This was a six piece, I mean, two piece for $6 and it's um, from this company here. Sorry, I forgot this piece, but yeah. I'm going to Google it and see if it's worth anything. I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I'm not too sure what it is, but yeah, looks pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys know anything about any of these items, please let me know in the description. Okay. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye-bye.